Hi, welcome to Wavelength. My name is Pastor Arome, and it's a joy to share the word with you. I love the word of God. Amen. My life is a product of God's word. I know where God picked me from. And I know what the word of God has done in my life. That's why I believe in the ability of God's word to totally transform and to change. And I love to share it. I love to teach it. And that's why I'm inviting you here to just share the word together. So get your Bibles if you can or if you're probably in motion, just follow. But I can assure you one thing, regardless of where you are right now and you're a part of today's broadcast, what I can assure you is this, that if you give the word of God time, the word of God will give you results that will outlive time. Amen. There is something about understanding from God's word that brings change, that causes us to live at the wavelength or at the frequency of God. And that's what this broadcast is all about. It's us operating at the level that God wants us to operate through the vehicle of his word and the revelation of his spirit. So we've been looking at operating by spiritual knowledge. And um, this scripture just got to my heart as we started talking about awareness. Yeah, you know that woman with the issue of blood? We talked about it in our last episode. It's it interesting for the woman to have had that kind of knowledge revealed to her that if I can touch, I will be changed. Listen to me. In life, it's not the activities that we do that produces results. It's the knowledge with which we carry out those activities that produce results. That's why, as a believer, you should not just be in that place where something is revealed to you, but the purpose of what is revealed to you is so that you can use it. And that's why we said that there's general knowledge, which is scientific knowledge, which the scripture refers to as gnosis. Everybody is aware of that. And that's what most people function with. And once Gnosis has no solution, they become stuck. But then there's something known as revelation, where the word of God, the spirit of God, the ministry of the Holy Ghost is that he reveals to you God's word. But say it's not just enough that something is revealed to you. You come to the place of uh, awareness. And what do I mean by awareness? You are aware that this particular truth, this particular light in a given situation, this is what you can employ to produce results. Listen, some people say God is not predictable. I don't really agree with that. It's based on the knowledge that you have. There are certain truths that when you lay hold on, you will know that they always work. No one can take you out of it because you've tested over and over and over. You know, in 1 John chapter 1, he said that which you have seen, which you have tested, which you have handled. What he's saying is that we have had an experience with the word of God. Is somebody with me? And by virtue of that experience, we can tell what to do. That's what we saw in the book of 1 John chapter 3. You know, in verse 14, where he says, you know, in verse 13, first of all, he says, do not marvel if the world hates you. He says, but we know that we have passed from death to life. So do not marvel if the economy is going uh, down. Do not marvel if the price of things are escalating. We know. That means by experience, we know what to do to stay above. In that context, which John writes in 1 John 3, he was saying that there is hate in the world. The world doesn't love us. He says, but we know that we are born of God and we love the brethren. That means love can overcome any form of hate. It's something that we can put to work and always get results. So in every area of your life, God doesn't want you guessing. Are we together? He doesn't want you guessing. He doesn't want you to say, oh, I don't even know how this came about. No, you should come to a place at some point in your work with God where you can tell with precision that this is what happened and you can apply it. And it comes by the ministry of the Holy Spirit and your consistent interaction with him in the place of prayer and meditation. Now, the Bible says in the book of um, Hebrews chapter 5, verse 14, when you come to this place of awareness, one of the things you begin to discover is that your spiritual senses are more heightened than your... Uh, your spiritual senses are more heightened than your physical senses. The Bible says in Hebrews chapter 5, verse 14, solid food, or maybe I should read from verse 13. He said, everyone who partakes only of milk, the Bible says what? Is unskilled in the word of righteousness, for he's a babe. It's not like he doesn't have the word, but the Bible says he doesn't know the skill. And what do you require skill for? You require skill for use. 
People hear the word of God. Some people know the word of God, but they don't have the requisite skill. Are you getting me? To be able to use that word to produce results. That comes by revelation from the spirit of God. So as he says in verse 14, but solid food belongs to those who are of full age. That is those who by reason of use have their senses exercised to discern both in good and evil. Notice he says, who have their senses. What senses is he talking about? He's talking about your spiritual senses. You know, some Christians have never exercised their spiritual senses. Do you know their spiritual senses? If there are no spiritual senses, the Bible will not say, pray that the eyes of your understanding will be enlightened. The Bible says those who have held of things to come, that means you have spiritual hands, you have spiritual legs, you can walk into experiences before actually coming there in the physical. Am I talking to somebody? Why? Your spiritual legs have journeyed those paths. That is what the word of God means. That, that place where you have revelation of God's word and you know what to do. And that's what I pray for everyone to be able to, as every believer, to be able to come to that place where if you find yourself in a situation, you will not tremble like Moses. You're standing in front of the Red Sea. You're not panicking. You're in a place where the people are crying. We want to eat meat. You're not panicking. In every situation, you just seem to be stable because you have inside knowledge. Not just inside knowledge. You know how to use it to turn around situation. That's what the Bible calls wisdom. First Corinthians. Go to First Corinthians chapter 2, verse 12. Now the Bible, the Bible says, now we have received not the spirit of the world, What's the spirit of the world? That's the news, what is buzzing in the world. There's a spirit in the world. There's, there is an air around. There are waves in the world. There's the, the media, are you getting me? It's telling you what he wants you to know. He said, that's not what you've received. He said, but you have received the spirit. Who is from God? It's a personality. He says that we might know the things that have been freely given to us. Why did we receive the Spirit? The Bible said that we may do what? We may know the things that have been given to us. It's important to know. The word translated know there is the word edo, which actually means that we may be able to discern. That means you can tell. You know, some Christians are always very clueless. They look at things just at surface level. But the Bible says the Spirit of God that you've received will not allow anyone to deceive you. With the Spirit of God, you will know exactly what to do per time. In every season, you know what is required of you. Hallelujah. Then it doesn't stop at that. Amen. It says in verse 13, the things which also, these things also we speak, not in words which man's wisdom teaches, but which the Holy Spirit teaches, comparing spiritual things with what? Spiritual. Now, this is a place where you have an understanding of a particular situation, you have an understanding of certain events, and you can tell. You can compare. This is the level of knowledge I'm talking about, a place where you can compare. <laughs> you can tell that this is what is said, recorded in the news, but you can sense by the Spirit of God that this is where I need to be. You know, a brother was sharing a testimony with me of how in the midst of that whole pandemic and things were happening, he said he began to see great opportunities and he could tell exactly what to do. He said, because he saw this while reading the story of Isaac, where the Bible says there was a famine in the land, and what was Isaac doing? That was a time when Isaac began to gather sand and began to plant. It didn't look logical, but he said, I received it as the logic of the Spirit. I've seen people, one of the, test, one of the things that constantly we hear in our church, you know, among business folks that say, they, I keep hearing pastors as, I, as you were teaching God's word, I, I could just see it as regards my business. We've seen people develop concepts, are you getting me? Business ideas. People have started their companies just by the hearing of God's word. Probably what I'm saying, there's a way that a particular person perceives that it's totally different from the way another person perceives it. It's based on your relationship with the Holy Spirit. So you come to that place where you have knowledge. You have knowledge that is revealed to you. But it's not just revealed to you. You can do what? You can use it. If you can't use it, your spiritual senses have been exercised to tell. You can tell that, look, 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 this thing is not going to turn the way it should turn. And this is what we ought to do right now. This is what the Bible says concerning, I think, 1 Chronicles 12, concerning the sons of Issachar. The Bible says they had understanding of what? Of the times and the seasons. And their brothers were at their command. 
When you begin to function at this level of spiritual knowledge, you will discover that you will always be giving effective leadership in any field that you have been placed. This is why, as a believer, if you are in leadership position, you cannot effectively lead people if you are not operating at this level of understanding, where you know what to do, what to engage in, what to apply. Someone said, uh, uh, you know, everywhere you go, people talk about sowing seeds, giving to this, giving to that. What is giving to this? This is what you need to do. And I, I smiled. I said, allow them to talk because everybody is speaking from their level of what? Of knowledge. Because I've personally been in some situations that some of the things that I did, if I explain to you, it will make no sense. It's just that I have what? Spiritual intelligence from God's word. And I've applied and I, I have seen things do what? Turn. I've seen things change. So I don't argue with people who don't know what I know. You know, it's just like trying to teach a primary school student quadratic equation in mathematics. Are you with me? It will not make any form of what sense. You even say, how ah, is this applicable? This is not true because all I know is this. All I know is uh, X plus X gives you this. All I know, do they even do that at primary school level? No. All I know is that if you have six, you subtract, you add. If you are not adding, you are subtracting. That's all the person knows. So there's no point getting into an argument. But the level of awareness is that you are aware of what spiritual truth to engage in, what activities to be part of to produce results. Hallelujah. You know, there is a word that uh, showed up in Acts chapter 24 when Paul was brought before Felix. The Bible says that, you know, Felix, Paul had to make his case before Felix because they were wondering whether he had broken the law. The Pharisees wanted him dead and they were considering whether he should be sent to, to Rome. And they brought him before Felix to hear him. Agrippa had to bring him before Felix. And the Bible says, when Felix heard him, hear what Felix said. <laughs> because you know, Paul spoke, and the Bible says, but when Felix heard these things, having more accurate knowledge of the way, and the way there is Christianity, he adjourned the proceedings and said, when Lysias, the commander, comes down, I will make a decision on your case. What I want you to see is that that word translated accurate knowledge there actually is the word oida. Are you getting me? What he's actually saying is that I have a full picture. Now, when you operate in the level of Either where the Holy Spirit begins to reveal things to you, are you with me? You begin to have a clear, full picture of events. You're, if you're a minister, you begin to see how the ministry should go, the trajectory it should take. If you're if you are into a particular uh, line of business, you begin to show you what to do. You have a full picture. I remember some years ago when I, it felt like I was feeling stuck in ministry, and I, you know. I knew, I said, God, something is not, there's nothing wrong with you. I knew you've asked me to do this, but where do I move next? And then God began to move me through his word, began to show me, began to connect me with certain relationships, are you with me? And asked me to go to certain places. And I remember being in this particular conference where I sat and people were talking and, and um, just enjoying the conference. It was a great conference. The Spirit of God was moving. The Spirit of God was really you know, it was a great time hearing the word of God, the demonstration of God's spirit. But as I sat there, you know, I began to see a full picture of what I needed to do, what I needed to hear, what I needed to change. And I left that conference knowing exactly what I needed to do at that time to move to the next level in ministry. It's the same thing. Are you getting me? That level is the level of awareness. I became aware. This is not just having revelation from God's word that by his stripes I'm healed. Am I talking to someone? Is that I became aware concerning ministry that God wants our ministry to take a particular trajectory, a particular direction, and I went back home. You know, I'm, I'm doing my best to explain it, knowing exactly what to do, and I began to do those things. And you know, there are people who sat down in that same conference with me who were still asking me questions. Because they left there with revelation, took lots of notes, but didn't know how to use it. They didn't know how it applied to their situation. So my prayer for you is that you come to that place. And don't give up on yourself, amen. Stay with God's word. I told you this comes through the ministry of the Holy Spirit. It comes by being faithful. It comes by having a consistent work with God. I'm not talking about you, you study the Bible today. The next time you study is in two weeks' time. You go to church today. The next time in church is... No, no. Find yourself in that community. And long before you know it, you begin to enter into the deeper realms of knowledge that the Spirit of God reveals 
to you. We're out of time on today's broadcast, <laughs> but I thought it's been a I, I believe it's been a blessing to you. Why not leave a comment? Why not share it and invite someone to be a part of it if this has been a blessing to us? And let us know how this broadcast has been a blessing to you. God bless you. I love you. Bye-bye. Thank you for watching today's broadcast. We believe you were blessed. You can listen to more messages from Pastor Arometo Pillar by visiting wordshop.christfamilyministries.org.